Welcome to World Code Updates, your daily briefing on everything happening around the world. Manila, Philippines, July 2025. Billion dollar rare earth jackpot discovered in Mindanao. The headline flashed across screens worldwide, sending shockwaves through financial markets. What began as a leaked geological survey quickly became a global sensation. The report revealed one of the world's largest untapped reserves of rare earth elements beneath Mindanao's mountains. These metals power our smartphones, electric cars, and advanced defense systems. The data was too precise to ignore. This was a treasure trove beyond imagination. In Manila and Mindanao, disbelief turned to excitement as the story spread. Could the Philippines truly be sitting on a resource the world's biggest economies desperately needed? The government was forced to respond as international attention mounted. Inside the presidential palace, urgency filled the air. The president prepared to address the nation knowing the confirmation would change the country's destiny. The implications were staggering. This was about more than money. It was about sovereignty, opportunity, and the responsibility of holding a resource that could shape the future of global industry and security. The world was watching, waiting for the Philippines to make its move. For a nation long defined by resilience, this was a new chapter. The Philippines now held the keys to the 21st century's most critical resources. The stage was set for a transformation that could shift the balance of global power. The question was no longer if, but when, the world's eyes were on Mindanao. The official confirmation came swiftly. In a televised address, the president declared the Mindanao rare earth deposit a national treasure. He promised the newfound wealth would uplift every Filipino. The speech was broadcast globally, turning whispers into a roar. On the Philippine Stock Exchange, mining stocks soared. Investors scrambled for a piece of the action. Across the country people dreamed of better schools, hospitals, and jobs. The phrase, Mindanao Miracle was born, capturing hopes for a new era. Globally the news sent shockwaves through boardrooms and government halls. China, long the rare earth superpower, saw its dominance threatened. In Washington, Tokyo, and London, leaders saw opportunity a new reliable source from a friendly nation. Technology giants recalculated their supply chains. The world's dependence on a single source had been a vulnerability. Mindanao offered a way out. Diplomats and trade envoys rushed to Manila with offers of partnership and investment. The Philippines, once a secondary player, was now at the center of a new great game. The government fielded calls from the world's most powerful leaders, each seeking access. The pressure was immense. The country had to navigate these competing interests with care. Its decisions would shape generations. The world was watching the Philippines' next move. The Mindanao discovery was staggering in scale. Geologists called it a historic anomaly, rich in neodymium and dysprosium, essential for electric vehicles and wind turbines. Early estimates valued the deposit in the hundreds of billions, possibly a trillion dollars. The find could dwarf the country's current GDP. Experts compared it to legendary oil discoveries. But Mindanao's history of conflict and poverty complicated the picture. The deposit straddled indigenous ancestral lands raising sensitive social and political issues. The promise of wealth was immense, but so were the challenges. Success depended on peace, justice, and sustainable development. For global tech and green energy industries the news was a lifeline. Automakers and renewable energy companies saw a path to secure their future. The Mindanao deposit wasn't just a Philippine story, it was a global turning point. The world's clean energy future now had a new foundation. For Mindanao's communities the discovery was both hope and anxiety. Many saw a chance for new roads, schools and jobs, and escape from poverty. Local leaders dreamed of transforming the region from conflict to progress. But memories of past mining disasters haunted residents. Environmental destruction, displacement, and broken promises were real fears. Indigenous groups worried for their ancestral lands and cultural identity. Activists warned of pollution and social unrest if communities weren't consulted. The government faced pressure to balance rapid development with protection. Community meetings became battlegrounds of hope and skepticism. Some supported mining for prosperity, others demanded guarantees for rights in the environment. The Mindanao miracle was a complex human drama. The stakes were high and the world was watching. Could the Philippines get it right this time? Rare earth elements aren't truly rare but they're rarely found in mineable concentrations. Seventeen metals like neodymium, dysprosium, and terbium are the backbone of modern technology. They power the magnets in electric vehicles, wind turbines, and your smartphone. Without them, innovation would grind to a halt. 
Rare earths are also critical for the green energy revolution. Wind turbines and electric vehicles rely on their unique properties. As the world shifts from fossil fuels, demand for these elements is exploding. They're also vital for national security, used in missiles, drones, and advanced defense systems. For major powers, a secure supply is a matter of security, not just economics. That's why the Mindanao discovery made headlines in defense departments worldwide. The Philippines now held a resource at the heart of the world's technological future. The stakes had never been higher. For decades, China dominated the rare earth market, controlling over 90% of global production. This gave Beijing immense leverage, one it wielded during diplomatic disputes. The world's dependence on a single supplier was a strategic vulnerability. The Mindanao discovery could change everything. If developed responsibly, the Philippines could become a major new source outside China's control. This would diversify supply chains for the US, Japan, and Europe. The Mindanao miracle introduces real competition to a long-standing monopoly, but China's rise came at a huge environmental cost, polluted rivers, scarred landscapes. The Philippines has a chance to learn from these mistakes. Modern sustainable mining and strict protections are essential. A new player could also stabilize prices and bring transparency to the market. The Philippines isn't just unearthing metals, it's reshaping the global balance. The world is watching to see if it can lead responsibly. Mining rare earths is notoriously dirty and dangerous. Ores often contain radioactive materials, and extraction uses harsh chemicals. If mismanaged, the environmental toll is devastating. The Philippines remembers the 1996 Marcopper disaster, rivers poisoned, livelihoods destroyed. That memory looms over Mindanao. Today, advanced, cleaner mining technologies exist. In situ leaching and water treatment can reduce harm. Strict regulations and independent oversight are essential. Transparency and community involvement must be non-negotiable. The risk of corruption is real. Safeguards are critical. The Mindanao miracle could be a model for sustainable mining, if the country learns from the past. The choice is clear, protect people and planet or repeat old mistakes. The Mindanao discovery could transform the Philippine economy. Thousands of jobs would be created, boosting a region long plagued by poverty. Investment would ripple through local businesses and services. The country could finally move up the value chain, processing and refining rare earths at home. This means more skilled jobs and a bigger share of profits. Revenues could fund infrastructure, education and healthcare. Managed wisely, this wealth could lift the nation. But the resource curse looms, corruption, inequality, and over-reliance on a single industry. Strong, transparent institutions are vital. The challenge ensure the Mindanao miracle benefits all, not just a powerful few. The stakes are national development, or repeating the mistakes of other resource-rich nations. The future depends on wise management. Mindanao's discovery has put the Philippines at a global crossroads. The world's great powers are now focused on Manila. The US sees a chance to strengthen alliances, China sees a challenge to its dominance, Japan, South Korea, and the EU are eager for partnership. The government faces tough choices, align with one power or balance many. Each path carries risks and rewards. The Philippines can now negotiate from strength, demanding investment, technology transfer and development. For the first time, it holds real leverage on the world stage. The Mindanao miracle is about more than economics. It's about national identity and destiny. The country stands at a turning point, sustainable growth and wise diplomacy, or old traps of corruption and division. The choices made now will define the nation's future. In the mountains of Mindanao, the next chapter of the Philippines, and the world's tech future, is being written.